Egyptians were much more advanced than us, and you will understand why. If we go back in the geological clock of Giza, we realize that the Nile flows right next to the pyramids. When you take magnetized crystalline granite, which is the base, and use running water below it you create physiostatic electricity. Granite then attracts ions into the pyramid and sends them into the Grand Gallery. The Grand Gallery has slots on each side that could have been resonance rods. These resonance rods could have increased the power of electricity as it rose into the King's Chamber. In the King's Chamber, what is interesting is that there is a box that they try to say is a sarcophagus. It's impossible for it to be a sarcophagus. I measure 1 meter 80, and I can't even fit into this box. Definitely know what a real sarcophagus looks like. It's not a tiny little box box has the exact dimensions of the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant was inside this box. It was technology. It was a capacitor. It's what gave the extra impulse and sent the electricity to the top where there is a stone made of gold. The obelisks, which are made of crystalline granite and magnetized, captured ambient wireless electricity and transmitted it to what they call jet pillars. These jets are depicted in many hieroglyphs, with people holding them and connecting them to electric bulbs. There are galvanoplasty devices and hieroglyphs as well. That's not all. And besides,